So we have twin hairstyles. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. So today I'm doing a different kind of video because I know I've talked about in my theme videos a bunch like about getting involved with things and for those of you that have still not found a way to get involved in your community or you don't know what you want to do or you have and you're just interested in helping with something else, I am bringing to you an opportunity to help my sister. <laughs> so let me explain. Long story short, my sister is going this summer. She actually graduates high school in six weeks and she is going in the summer to the country of Belize. And what she is going to be doing there, she's going to be working at a children's home. So she's volunteering her time. This is just something she really wants to do. And she needs to raise some money to go. She has set a goal of $1,500. But the cool thing about if you do decide to donate and help Shayna make her trip become a reality is that she is going to be tweeting, blogging, Instagramming, and you would basically get to see where your money went. So I'm gonna ask Shayna a couple questions so you know kind of the details, but I wanted to just lay it out flat in the beginning that you... Um, a children's home is like an orphanage, but um, the kids don't get adopted out, basically. That's my easiest way of explaining Well, that makes it sound even a little sadder. It's because they're adopting them. Yeah, right? they're adopting them into their home. Their family, yeah. It's really big. They're, right now they have like 10 kids where I'm going, but by the end of the year, I think they plan on having 20. Yeah, so. so it's kind of like a giant family. They adopt the kids into their home and they take care of them. So they school them, they clothe them, yeah. they take care of them like family they members. Because yeah. they are. So didn't you say that the home is like self-sufficient? Yeah, they have, um, they have their own farm and they grow all their own food. And it's actually kind of cool because um, they have like a fish pond. And it's kind of actually a little bit gross, but like the fish pond is underneath the garden and they use like the fish poop you know how they use like cow poop mm -hmm. and fertilizer well yeah. they use the fish poop for fertilizer and the water and it goes up and then they water the plants with that water and it's actually really cool because the food like grows really fast with that oh, so. so the key is fish poop yeah which is oh, pretty weird oh, that is but yeah weird. so um they farm all their own food they have all their own meat and I think they even are trying to teach the kids how to farm and be self-sufficient. So are you going to have to farm and Probably. kill animals? Probably. <laughs> Scary. That's what Isaac did. He said that he had to like pluck chickens and stuff. Yeah, her boyfriend actually went there last year, right? Two years Two ago. years ago. And that's the reason, like, she found out about it through him, and then she decided that because of his trip was so great and he had so much fun volunteering at the home, that that's what made her want to go. If you decide to donate to Shayna's trip, the link is going to be down below, and you guys will be able to see the growth and, like, how many people are donating. You can follow her yeah. whole thing. And it's a little different than donating to a charity. Donating to charity is amazing. That's, you know, something Dan and I do. I know that's something she does. But the difference with this is I'm just bringing my sister to you. This is my actual sister. <laughs> and she is going to kind of work with a small charity. And she just needs money to get there. Yeah. Um, so the 1500 covers her flight. It covers, didn't you say you're also going to be bringing books to help the kids yeah. learn how to read? Well, it actually costs $1,200 for my flight room and board, which I guess board is like covering me for food and all that kind of stuff um, and then I put my goal $300 over so that I could try to bring the kids down books, books for other stuff. new reading material because that's one of the things that um, we were asked to do is to teach the kids how to read read better yeah not like read like oh I'm read, learning new how to read but like get better at reading yeah improve their that. reading yeah. skills so um yeah that's kind of the cool thing is you know exactly where your money is going and you can I mean bring you to a charity you know where it's going but this is like really seeing the money flow exactly yeah. where it's going and I highly suggest if you do donate to Shayna's trip um which we would be really appreciative of I really really suggest that you take the time to follow her on all of those sites because you're gonna feel it's gonna feel really cool to know like wow I spent the money the money went out but yeah. this is where the money's going you'll be able to see her probably with the kids you know around the house we'll see you know she has to be really tactful with everything but she guaranteed will be giving updates she's already cleared yeah there's internet there so to me it's kind of cool to see like wow that's where my money is going so what is the name of the site you're using to raise the money um it's called fundly.org 
Org, I think, or .com, I can't remember. It's going to be linked down below, but it's Fundly. Yeah. Fundly. For sure. Yeah. Um, one thing I was going to say is about the updates. I found out that I can't show the kids, oh, but I can kidding. probably show, like, the family. Like, the okay. family that owns the orphanage, because they have a whole website, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be able to show them, but I'm not allowed to, like, she said I could, like, yeah, anyways. She's oh, really just going on a really fun <laughs> summer vacation, and you guys are finding yeah. it. I'm just kidding. No, she really is going, but the website to where she's going will be linked down below. A lot of times when you're working with kids, um, you can't show pictures and stuff like that. Yeah. So It's a government rule, not an orphanage rule. So um, Also, if you donate, please tweet me or let me know on Instagram because I want to personally thank you because I would really appreciate it if you could help get my sister to Belize to volunteer her time. It'll be really fun fun for her and really cool for me to see her go out and help a family so yeah I guess that is it all of our links her links um, my links the funly site <clears throat> blood in my throat everything <laughs> will be linked down below so yeah we really appreciate you watching the video and we will see you on the flip side right yeah okay we're excited for the campaign <laughs> yay